Mr. Manoj Kumar Bada Bada. So we will take you on behalf of Hannah Bada Bada. And also I would like to read the SARS profile in front of all of me. Please be stage. So uh, Manoj Kumar sir is director at Bada Bada Technologies Private Limited. He is mentor for multiple startups and educational education institutions and he holds multiple patents. He is an innovator, technology enthusiast and an hands-on engineer. I would like to tell about SARS education. Sir has done his MS from MS in mechanical engineering from NIA and he did his Bachelor of Engineering again with mechanical engineering from CBIT. Previously, sir worked with um, Tata Technologies Private Limited as program manager. Also, he worked with Infosys Limited as technical lead and with Caterpillar IRC USA as senior engineer. Presently, sir is mentoring uh, various national and international level projects and he is associated with Utter Innovation Mission as mentor of change, Niti Ayur Government of India. Also with t -Hub, Government of Telangana State, uh, National Center for Additive Manufacturing, which is established by a government of India and in partnership with Government of Telangana. He is also working with Confederation of Indian Industry, Center for Excellence, Center of Excellence for Innovation and Entrepreneurship and Startups. He is also working with AIC, ALEAP. Also, he is working with Balkas International Center, AIC Sangam, and many more. That list is endless. So, sir, we are very happy. So, sorry, is the also a mentor for startups. So, we are running in a startup seminar. Sir so is the one of the mentors. Uh, okay. So, he will guide you in all the directions. Okay. In future, if you want to become an entrepreneur, I think uh, some engineering students are doing the startups and they are in the final round. So, the final round is going to be held in Bangalore in uh, June 30. Okay, so is giving continuous uh, mentorship. Okay, so please try to interact with the sir. So, the sir will give complete support. Okay, uh, how you are going to convert completely your idea in the startup level? How you get the number of schemes? Okay, startup support, everything is required. Okay, please be interactive with the sir. So, I can assist you like anything. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. I'm audible. Yes. Okay. Uh, this session I'm trying not to bore you. That's the whole idea. Uh, I always try to make it as interactive as possible. Because if you bore, then I'm bored. Right? Tell me Hindi, English, anything is fine. English, Hindi. Preferred, right? My mother tongue is Hindi, but I can speak Telugu in Hindi and English. Okay. English is like, of course, uh, I can speak. Before uh, going into the actual state of matters. Uh, I just want to give a brief introduction of myself because uh, before you listen to me, I think you have a right to understand like whom you are listening to, right? Can I, I mean, do you have the capability to teach you or not? Madam has given a wonderful introduction of me. Thank you so much, Madam. But I could put some more masala into it because that's like show off. Right? Otherwise, uh, you will not listen to me. What's the value of listening to me? So, next slide, please. So as Mama has mentioned, currently I'm like mentoring a lot of startups. I don't know why I'm doing it, but still that's, that's my way of giving back to the nation. Uh, one way of doing it, it gives a lot of satisfaction, self-satisfaction also, and also helps in nation building, right? Desh ko acha banayenge, right? It sounds really cool, but it's not that easy. What like they must like them. Especially with your family at the back end, uh, they are expecting a lot of things from you because I'm returning from US. I did. Uh, as Madam mentioned, I did my master's there and worked for big companies. I was earning big numbers actually. Now I'm like, with mentoring, there's no money involved. There's very few numbers are involved. So the comparison starts, right? It always happens in any family. Used to make like one CR and above back in 2005 or something. Now it's like almost zero numbers. So it's like the comparison starts. Huge difference, right? So it's just a challenge for us. Uh, but at the same time, the satisfaction what we get of making a country different, making better products, 
makes you go every day. So that's what this mentoring is all about. So all these organizations are there. But uh, before uh, becoming a mentor, say I should have some value, right? Like what, what am I getting to start? So my professional career has been developing a lot of machines. You cut my nerves, you not get oil, you get uh, you not get black, you get oil only. That's how more mechanical I am. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide. These are some of the machines I work with. Uh, the tire size of this machine is about 18 feet. Just imagine the size of the machine. These machines are used in mines uh, for gold extraction, iron, whatever metals you're talking about. These machines are extensively used. I am the one who developed the complete thermal analysis for these machines while they were converting. You talk about PS6, right, emission technologies and all. I worked on these machines converting those technologies for the caterpillar companies while I was in US. There are about three patents on my name for these designs also uh, while developing these solutions. Next one. Uh, that's me standing in front of one of the trucks. This, this truck lifts about 400 tons at one shot. So imagine, like I have about 80, 90 kgs, that's 400 tons. That's too many kgs involved there, okay? Can you imagine what would be the speed of that machine, the lower uh, left one? So what speed this machine can go at maximum speed? Any guesses? Bandi manam kodam gada. Bandi and the past the Active house, you, how many drive vehicles? 60, 80 max, right? Imagine what would be the speed of this machine? 180. KMPH, are you sure? Thousand? It's a huge number. <laughs> They're like flying with 120 max, right? 120 KMPH. Any other guesses? 250. 250. That's too high. <laughs> That's too high. 30 or 40, right? This machine goes at 100 miles per hour. That's about 130 to 140 kilometer per hour. And it stops in like this much distance only. When you apply the brake, brakes, it stops in such small distance. The amazing part is the technology, the brake technology, the engine technology that's working on the machine. See, we have technical people, right? I assume everybody's technical background, right? Engineers, would be engineers or teachers from engineering background, right? Mostly. So MBAs or MBAs also, okay. So some technical. Okay. So that's the beauty of that machine. Uh, this machine is used in coal mines to push the coal from one place to other place. It's just to push it's a dozer, and that's what it does. Next one. This one is my first invention when I joined my job. Uh, then I did my invention. These machines are used to compact the trash. I did dump it under the So that this could be for itself. My India machine can be but usually in other countries like US and Europe, usually you see this machine which is used to compress the trash so that the amount of volume it takes is less. So this machine, before I joined the company, they bought down almost 100 machines. That's because a uh, lot of trash used to go inside the engine compartment just to burn the machine down. And it's costed around like almost like $100 million loss for them. But our solution now, the invention we did, uh, is not that visible, but that's the invention we did. None of the machines have burned down since past eight years saved almost more than $100 million. So that's the invention. First one I did, first in my job. The manager gave me 20% help, first year job. Like, never heard, right? So usually they give like 5, 8%, right? max, max 10%. The manager said, you do inventions every year, I'll give you 20%. I did first that, second year I did again 20%, third year 20%. So my salary was like $150K every year, $150K, $175K. Flying numbers, right? Next one. Again, not a show off, but actual numbers. Next slide, please. Yeah, these are all the other dimensions. Then 2012, I returned back to India because uh, my mother and my mother India, two main reasons why I worked for. Uh, and I started working for Infosys. Anybody know story about 737 Max? Boeing plane, Padi Boeing, the Red Blue planes, crash AI, Chalabam, Chani Poinal. I did not design that machine. Okay, so I'm there was a software that was developed uh, when the flight takes off, right? Usually the nose of the plane is pointing upwards. But the software was designed such a way that it was pointing downwards. Because of that, uh, software glitched, right? You know, something went wrong. And two planes crashed. Uh, that was this particular design. We worked on the fuselage part of it, the middle part where we sit actually, where seats are. I designed the stress analysis, the team was designing the complete thing, and I was leading it. Next slide. 
Then Tata called me to develop a machine for them. You see JCB machines on the road, right? Pictures sound up, construction the roads and buildings and all. Similar to JCB, Tata has developed a machine called Shinrai. You see on 9H44, you will see this machine. Orange color lo on JCB usually yellow color lo on This machine is in orange color, like your chunni color one. It's pretty much the same color. Uh, I'm the one who actually led the team who developed this machine. For India, developed in India, designed in India, in collaboration with uh, Japan, Europe, US and India. Completely for India. So currently you will see in market, these machines are used. I'm very happy to see whenever I see these machines on the road. It's a different feeling, right? It's your baby, right? Basically, it's your baby. Uh, it feels... What's uh, Shinra? Shinra is like a new technology. What they decided that time. So Japanese word for uh, new stuff, right? So what's Shinra? Completely uh, designed over in India. And so this was till 2016. I left the corporate world. Then I started to seriously work on mentoring because uh, I thought like I can go and make big difference to people's life or product development with the experience I have. Then I sat down for two years doing nothing, just writing the process for developing the product development for startups. That's what I did. Since 19, I did that. From then onwards, I'm into full time into mentoring startups, student startups. Commercial startups or any companies, I, I do the work day in day out. Right? I hear all the list of colleges, of, of startups, student startups, you name it, I'll be there in different sectors. Next one. I work in different sectors also. Anything you take, agriculture, drones, or anything related to new technologies, I'll, I'll support it. Is that background enough to convince you that I can talk to you? Or do you want more masala? <laughs> Enough. Okay, thank you so much. It's again, not to boast about me, just to showcase like if you do your sincere work, that's where our topic is today, right? Entrepreneurship competency. It's in us to develop that. If it's not there in you, we can develop it. I come from a background where we used to iron clothes for others. I'm not coming from like born with a silver spoon or something. My parents used to do ironing clothes for others. I did till third year engineering. I'm not shame of, I'm not feeling shame about to tell you that. I'm very in fact proud to share that because uh, I also thought like you think it's not for us. Right? Entrepreneurship is not for me. But it's just our mindset. It's, it's our problem with our mindset, the blockage that we create. Anybody can do if I can do like a stupid like me, you can easily do it. That's that's what it is. Right? So put your effort, best efforts. People like us are there, Adam are there, our organizations are there where you can seek help to make your dreams realized, realize, okay? It's up to us only. We have to take that step to get things done. Otherwise, it will never happen. I will make sure that the presentation is not like a Sophie or something. It's a learning for you. I want it to be more interactive. Okay? It can't be just me talking, not add value to me. I'm already doing it. So it's, I mean, it's just a reputation for me. But for you, it's a learning. So better you interact and learn from it. I'm sure there is a reason why you are here. There could be some iota of something is in you, a fire, which you are trying to give more air so that it can become a big fire, right? And it can become a big company for you. So there's, there's a reason why you are here. Let's utilize the time, learn from each other, and develop and take it forward. Clear? Any questions before I start? Anybody here just for attendance? That's okay. So the way this will work today is uh, we'll start with an assessment test. So the white sheet of paper will be given to you. This is again a psychometric test to understand where your mindsets are. Okay, this is again before the start of the session and then one after the session. One after the session will be up to you only. Before the session is what I want to understand. So I'll be sharing, uh, Aditya will be sharing piece of papers with you. And I'll, dis I'll display on the screen a bunch of questions, about 25 questions are there. The way the questions are arranged, there are like five options for it. One, two, three, four, five. On the piece of paper, just write your name and which branch, Adam, then just put your uh, department. The students, just put your branch and uh, year. Name, branch and year. And then on the question number, write the question number. In front of it, just put the number of your choice, just the number only. Then we'll do a self-evaluation. Okay, I'll show you how to do self-evaluation also. Clear? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So there are 25 questions. We'll take about 15 minutes, 20 minutes max to complete this. Then we'll do circle evaluations. Okay. Papers You got the papers? So about 2025 in my home, 2024 to be exact, but 2025. I'll give till then for you to complete this test. Okay, this complete as fast as possible. And there is no problem of these. Everybody can have the commission the election matrix. It's not a prospect. Now, to put this to the question number only, I can still put that number one. No need to write the question. And no crosstalk, please. This is the individual test, okay? No cheating, definitely. It's your individual assessment. It's not. Your best. There's no right or wrong assessment for this, okay? Just right or what you think is the point.
You're taking a browser. The question was, I'm taking a new thing. That's what I'm just trying to do. No, I'll stop speaking. Please, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, Thank you. 
Just tell us what what question are we going to do? I 
Thank you, all guys. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's do a self evaluation. I think uh, you have taken the test. Thank you so much for taking the test. Couple of uh, disclaimers or terms and conditions, supply kind of thing. One test doesn't define you or me, right? Never defines. But this test was built on based on a lot of surveys and other studies. It gives kind of an idea about like what kind of mindset you got. Okay, that's what it is. But doesn't mean that you are not fit for entrepreneurship or you are all fit for entrepreneurship. One of those must be. At the end of the day, it's up to us to develop these competencies in us. Okay. So what we'll do now, since you have taken the test, let's do a simple evaluation also. So the evaluation works like this. If your first question, if you have selected one or two, if your answer is either one or two, you will get one mark code. Just write one next to one. First question, write one mark. If you have selected only six, one or two, if it is three, four, five, then you get no marks made. Okay. Be honest with yourself, okay, don't make it up. It's not going to make a big difference. Just don't, if you put cross marks or something, we'll know evaluation is wrong. So that will not be counted. Okay, we'll uh, take these papers again. For question number two, again, if you have one or two, then you get one mark. Question number three, if your answer is four or five, then only you'll get one mark. Question number three, answer should be either four or five. Your selection option is four or five. For second question, one or two. One or two. Question number four, again, it should be four or five. Question number four, option should be either four or five. Then only you will get one mark. Question number five, same thing, four or five. Question number five, four or five. Your option should be four or five. Then only you will get one mark. Question number six should be one or two. Question number six, one or two. The option should be either one or two. We get one mark for that. Question number seven, four or five. Question number eight, one or two. Question number nine, four or five. Question number seven is four or five. Question number eight is one or two. Question number nine is four or five. Question number 10 is one or two. Question number 10 is again one or two. 
11 also 1 or 2. 12 is 4 or 5. 13 is 4 or 5. 14 also 4 or 5. The option is 4 or 5, then only you will get one mark. I don't write it. Question number 15, 4 or 5. Question number 16 is 1 or 2. Question number 17 is again 1 or 2. 1 or 2 should be your option to get your mark. Question number 18 should be either 4 or 5. Question number 18, 19, 20. 4 or 5 should be your option to get one mark. 18, 19, 20. 4 or 5. Question number 21, 22, 23, and 24. 1 or 2 should be your options. Then only wait one mark. 21, 22, 23, 24, 1 or 2. And last question, 4 or 5. 24. 4 or 5. Okay, just total the marks. Everybody just total the marks. Okay. Attention, please. While they are evaluating who got what, uh, let's go through some stories of uh, entrepreneurs like you who have developed and developing their solutions. They are students, they are entrepreneurs, women in different sectors. They are examples specifically related to women all. And these are not like the examples taken from internet or something. These are people I'm actually working with, entrepreneurs or students. I personally work with and I've seen their pain how they are developing their topics. Anything important, madam? I'm missing. Am I that boring? Get just started. Okay, so uh, before I go into what is entrepreneurship competency thing, I just want to show some examples like that is going on in the field, how they have challenged themselves and how they are facing day in day out challenges. So, this woman, what you see here in the bottom, uh, my right, is Neha Jain, one of the founders of uh, one of the companies. So we see all these single-use plastics all over on the roads, everywhere, right? A lot of cows eat it, and it's like one time it was already causing a lot of environmental issues. So this woman has identified that problem statement. Of course, it's there all over, right? Everybody knows plastic is an issue. 
but what we have done for it. We have bioplastics are there. Uh, we are trying to use thicker plastic which can uh, disintegrate into the soil. But this woman has identified a material itself. Material itself is a problem, right? Even if you use bioplastics, you still need the forest to be taken out, right? You still have to do agriculture. Agriculture again creates a lot of greenhouses, greenhouse gases that creates again ozone issues and all, right? So again, it affects the environment. When we say bioplastics are not 100% uh, neutral also, it's not completely carbon free. So what they have found is uh, seaweeds will take a lot. Some of them will also change the jet to right? They have taken that as input for the material and they developed a plastic power of uh, seaweed based plastic. Bag is currently working on developing a solution with that. So all the plastics that we are going to use for the packaging of Maggi, soon we'll see based on our seaweed. And seaweed plastics, we can directly eat. Right now, what she's seeing on the picture is directly consumed on the plastic. Nothing happens to it. Unless there is some print on it. There is a print out, print on it with the different materials, I think we should not do it. But the raw plastic made of seaweed, you can directly consume it. So it's good for her. Okay. So when she started, she has a lot of difficulties. It was not easy for her. Right, because she's not from us, engineering background or from a technical background. She comes from MBA uh, degree background. So understanding this technology stuff, developing solution to make this happen, she's facing a lot of things. I, I personally helped her, helped her a lot. Uh, as part of United Nations program, uh, I was mentoring her startup. So that's how I, I know about this, this solution. Next slide, please. Uh, next one is this. Uh, we are just write, nicely writing on a piece of paper, right? Very simply, we just write down, throw it away. But while we are manufacturing those papers, there's a lot of wastage comes out of it, uh, which is not useful much. And that goes directly into dump yards, uh, directly. And usually that's what is happening. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide, please. So this girl, again, not from a technical background, she comes from, again, uh, uh, MBA financial uh, engineering bank, financial background. She understood the problem statement. She's converting that paper into something called briskets. Like okay. they extract some metal uh, material like a liquid, which is like an oil actually. Two things they are doing. They are making briskets kind of thing, which is used in uh, wherever heat is required. And second, they use this oil in different applications like lubrication or something. So she understood the problem statement, went through the process. Developing a company now, she is getting funds also. Like Triple IT has given her funds to develop a solution also. Triple IT Hyderabad. Very fortunate to work with her. Uh, very fascinating solution also. We think her paper is so simple, right? We just tear it apart and throw it. But it becomes a big problem for others. So she is developing the solution. Next slide. Uh, this is again student startup going on. One of the tote food bundle by now, choose some other vegetables and fruits. A lot of uh, vendors will be there. Even the Sunday markets or weekly markets, a lot of stuff is getting listed, right? So what happens is, once it comes from the wholesale market to your plate, there is a lot of losses that happens. It's about 12 to 15 percent losses are still there, from all the way from the farm to the point it comes to your plate, there are still losses happening. That's about in the range of 12 to 15 percent. Imagine that. If the agriculture farmer is growing about 100 kgs, 15 kgs is just going as waste. That's a huge number, right? Just to prepare it. If you take it to the overall level, it's a huge number actually. Many tons of waste is happening. Part of anything I've seen. Some joke out. Nothing like not audible. Okay. Sorry about that. I'll try to speak up fast. I mean not fast, but louder. Okay, if anything like this, let me know. Otherwise, I would not know. If you keep talking about yourself, I don't know. Okay. So that was the problem they identified. Uh, go to next slide, please. So the students from uh, RB, we are in uh, Women's College. They are not from technical uh, background, not engineering background. These are forensic science, BSc forensic science students. They identified that problem statement. They came up with a solution, which looks like this cart, which has uh, the operative panels and solar panel and every stuff. And uh, they recently won Smart India Hackathon Championship also. They got one lakh in cash prize also. And uh, the government of India, there is a department called National Institute of Food Technology. That technology, that government department is taking this solution and implementing across the country, working with different uh, vendors. It's a huge thing, right? For a student just starting uh, in their career, they got that much of support. 
the start the the government is actually giving funds to make the prototype pilots and they are identifying the places to implement it also sorry the vegetable waste that we get from the fruits and vendors right so these people have increased the timeline of them instead of getting wasted see so usually it is one day the vegetables will go bad with this solution they are able to store it for two days two two and a half days after so that has increased the shelf life of it that's the solution they came up with so that's the solution now go back so they are implementing the solution uh, with, along with nftm department and it's going forward next slide uh, how many know that after certain age cow doesn't go give milk right where does the cow ends up after certain age a cow doesn't give milk then what happens to this cows do you know what happens anyone yeah you're shaking your head i believe you know it cutting at slaughter houses most of them just end up at the slaughter houses many people just eat the meat and that's how it's end up most of the cows just end up like that but no next slide this woman in the picture she identified the problem statement every village what is happening especially in telangana uh mundu farmers degara untunde how but em ayind ante because of lot of water available right because of kalishwaram project and all the whole land piece is getting used for agriculture only previously part of the land was used for for the cow to for it, for it to eat or stay there but now the whole land parcel is getting used for agriculture only so because of that what is happening they don't have time and money to support the cow or take care of the cow and they are giving it for slaughter houses so this woman is taking those cows from these farmers and rearing them supporting them or uh, taking care of them but the problem here is these cows don't give milk right so how to self sustain her own uh, goshala or right godam so what she has done she has taken the output from the cow the milk i mean urine and the cow dung and converted them into more than 50 products now many people are doing it but she is also trying to make it that way huge challenge i personally have worked with her for more than 6 months staying in a village it's impossible because we are used to city kind of environments right we are so used to being in acs and all it's so troublesome to stay there i mean you some of you might have the habit of being in the village i personally had a big issue staying there because uh, it's not easy it's, it's nothing is easily available there everything is like you have to walk go from one place to other place food is not easily available so many challenges were there and on top of it labor is the biggest issue we could not find people to support we got all the way from labor from orissa orissa west bengal not a single person was ready to work in telangana state to support these cows because the money was not much like only 12000 15000 is the max right these are all the challenges that are there part of it but problem statement is always there right we have to safeguard our own cow the right it's our national uh, national heritage also but it is all dwindling down if we don't do something about it it comes in a shoot but the woman is trying to make products sell it and make a self sustained goshal out of it right but it's so challenging for her husband is also supporting family supporting mentors are supporting but still the problem still is very big currently she has like almost 180 to 200 cows it's not a small number right? it's, it's, it's huge thanks for the last one for me to do that now we'll start the actual thing see the idea here to showcase those examples were there are bigger challenges people are solving and they are able to do it and we can also solve it it's not a big deal we just we have to put our effort to make it happen learn what was behind it understand what is the details about it and try to do it now let's look at the policy
Before I go into the slides, we got the results. That's amazing. 21 Sona, I think. Somebody Sona. Who's Sona in there? Sana. You, right? Okay, that's that's good. 18, Samantha. That's good. Usharani, 17. That's great. Swapna, 16. That's great. 15. So you just put numbers. Or two are there, but the name sounds like it's true. I'll put some names in public. Okay, the top, uh, top four, Sana, Samantha, Usharan, and Jopna. The peak story was 21, 18, 17, 16, respectively. Uh, the hospital is coming into place higher for the middle of the street. It's like 23 higher than 15, it's much higher. Half of the first feature is just like this. As I said, it has just happened only we have to do the effort make it happen. Okay. So, break time. So before we go to the action slides, there's a break time now. Let's break for 15 minutes and then we'll come back in. Okay. Thank you so much.
Everybody's back. Should we start? Yes, sir. Seven sixteen. Five minutes. You keep eating. It's okay. Oh my. Let me introduce uh, one of the startup cohort from this college. Balram sir was mentioning earlier, right? Our students are going to Bangalore for presenting and all. Fortunately or unfortunately, they are here. Fortunately. Let me introduce Tanuja and uh, Gitanjani. And they'll talk about what problem statement they're solving and what is the solution they want. Uh, 
good morning, everyone. Uh, everyone is doing fine. Uh, I'm Geeta Anjani. I'm the sister of Alex. Uh, I'm Geeta Anjani. I'm the sister of I'm Aimee Kanza. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we are from Second Year IT Department. Um, we are working on a project for rocket ships. Working on a product called Walking Sats. The basic idea of this product is that as we want to design our mechanical energy, which can be converted into electrical energy and which can be used to charge our mobile phones. This is a very useful way of product. It helps us in many ways, not only like this. Now, old people will be walking everywhere. I mean, they will be taking exercises, they will be walking here and there. So at that time, they can use this uh, their mechanical energy and uh, mechanical energy into a useful energy. Like uh, well, then uh, actually we have a product at at our food hill, uh, and we are using PCU electric base that helps us to convert this uh, mechanical energy into electrical energy, and this energy will be stored in a lithium ion battery, and that uh, energy we can see used for charging our mobiles, and we will be uh, using the we we'll use this by the help of the module. The module will be connected to the battery holder. With that, uh, with the help of that, we will charge the device. You know, charging is a very important thing in our life. If we eat or drink, it's not problem. Our phone should be charged. It's the thing. Every student is facing a problem, actually. We were coming to college. I, I myself uh, said, first, the mobile charge is good on that. Then I uh, pick my phone and come uh, out of out of the house to go to college. So charging is a very very big problem. We thought uh, some why not we can't do uh, some uh, product like this so that we can carry it everywhere and uh, no need of actual electricity. So that the electricity actually is generated by us as chance charging. So that was the idea of this project. And we can uh, what we want. Actually, what we say is that we can carry it everywhere, and in some hectic situations, also even you can, uh, you, uh, you can, like, it helps you a lot. Like if you are going for any trekking to any of other places, you will be not carrying your uh, charges. If you carry also, you will be not having any power power packs there, and like you will be not having any of the options there to charge your moments. And that time, if you run out of your battery while walking, like trekking is, of course, you will be walking. Like, at that time, we can charge the battery. And when we lost the when the energy is cut, then we can uh, simply charge the charge your mobile. And this is our uh, product. This is we inserted that uh, inserted the product uh, it's in the shoe at the bottom of the field. And this help uh, this when we walk, the pressure will be falling on the piece of this, and this piece of this contains a uh, silicon oxide. Uh, silicon oxide. Uh, it will be in the crystal form. When we be move, uh, when we hit the pressure on the piece of this, uh, the crystal will get released and from here and there. At that time, it produces a frequency. That frequency is converted by the use of ceramic. It converts the frequency into a electrical energy. That electrical energy is stored in the battery. And this is our idea. Let's talk to him in the morning. We get it. We will go to the presentation. Good luck for the Bangalore. Right. So the idea here is to not to just showcase, but also give confidence that they are not from technical background. They are not core engineering people. They are from IT sector. They identified a problem statement. They are developing a solution. They got selected for a national level competitions. They are going to represent college and present their solutions to make it as a startup also, right? So that should give you kind of like motivation for us to do our own stuff. Also. One of the examples. It's not, it's not. We always think like we are from tier three colleges, tier four colleges. We can't do it, right? Manakam Dadu, Manakindupu, Purendupu. They will support JRU, Patron or Yaman Kutor, Yaman Kutor, and we should do that. All things are there. But at the end of the day, what do you want to achieve? When I talk to any student, generally, like even male and female, doesn't matter. Our Patron or Yaman Kutor is a problem. 
तो क्या सोचता कि है व्हाट विल हिट मी लेट हिम थिंक रेट दिस इज प्रॉब्लम लेट यू यू डू योर वर्क लेट लेट एवरीबॉडी विल थिंक समबडी विल टॉक समथिंग टू यू लेट देम डू यू डू योर वर्क एंड गेट इट सॉल्यूशन दैट्स द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग द आइडिया वाज शोकेसिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट वाज टू अगेन गेट सम कॉन्फिडेंस ऑफ यू एंड आल्सो दैट टी3 टी4 कैन आल्सो रीच नेशनल लेवल कॉम्पिटिशन एंड गेट मनी दैट्स पॉसिबल it's not that always we have to be from iits and like this with the number of us return lo also on lady manam diyal anukunte ikkada unna kuda isthun ante as simple as that all the examples have shown they are not from any of these iits or the so called big big guys right they are all from local local colleges so back to topic finally right let's talk about like what is the competency at in india so kate in the that title of the topic is so big entrepreneurship competency Whole in the years, what is the story about all this? I'll just put some theory here. At the bottom line, in that day, what the story is in that the bottom line in that day, we have to take the step and do it. And everybody in this room sitting right here has the capability to do it. And in the a competency and in the skill and in the what is required to become an entrepreneur, who is so the person in it is required also. Some might be required, some may not be. again these are all generic stuff right but if we want to do something we already have in in built on us there is nothing called entrepreneur entrepreneur is born is born is not not like that it's very few are there in the world like who are born entrepreneurs but not everybody is a born entrepreneur a born entrepreneur can be developed we uh, the skill set or the competency that is required can be developed over a period of time you just need practice habits very good habits to make it up ఆర్ సింపుల్ అసలు అంతే నేను ఇప్పుడు అనుకోలే మరి నేను ఇస్త్రి చేస్తుండి ఐ నెవర్ థాట్ లైక్ ఐ గోట్ అమడి ఆ మన్నకి ఏదో ఐడియా వచ్చింది ఐ వెంట్ దేర్ రైట్ ఐ నెవర్ మై సెల్ఫ్ థాట్ లైక్ ఐ బి ఏ మెంటర్ ఫర్ స్టార్ట్అప్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ బట్ ఐ డెవలప్ దోస్ కేపబిలిటీస్ స్కిల్ సెట్స్ ఓవర్ ఏ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ టైం దట్స్ హౌ ఐ మీన్ టు దిస్ ఏరియా ఓకే ఇఫ్ ఐ కెన్ యు కెన్ ఈజీలీ గో ఐ థింక్ సో ఐ విల్ హావ్ డివైడెడ్ మై ప్రెజెంటేషన్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ టాపిక్స్ లైక్ వాట్ ఇస్ కాంపిటెన్సీ అండ్ ఏ మీనింగ్ ఏంది ఎట్లా డెవలప్ చేయాలి డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కాంపిటెన్సీస్ ఏమి ఉంటాయి డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ కాంపిటెన్సీస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ అండ్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఓకే ఐ జస్ట్ పుట్ ఆల్ దిస్ అండ్ హౌ టు డెవలప్ ఇట్ ఇప్పుడు మనం మా దగ్గర లేవు ఇప్పుడు కొంతమంది స్కోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ వచ్చింది రైట్ టుక్ అసెస్మెంట్ టెస్ట్ టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ వరకు కూడా వచ్చారు బట్ దట్ డజన్ మీన్ దట్ యూఆర్ నాట్ కేపబుల్ ఆర్ రైట్ సో దర్ సమ్ కాంపిటెన్సీస్ నాట్ దే దట్ యూ హెవ్ డెవలప్ దట్స్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఎస్ ఉంచలీ మీన్స్ so what are those competencies competence and in the skill and in the that's what i'm going to present okay next slide please okay before i go there when we talk about entrepreneurship for a company these are general st- steps we talk about okay you don't directly go and start building company you first sit down and understand your mindset in india's a company you directly don't jump into entrepreneurship and start doing it. it doesn't work like that you set your mindset first nee chesta na vision set cheskovali adi led ankonde you keep roaming around many times and many examples are there i can quote like 10 15 examples just like the students i'm all share the presentation no need to take pictures no there's no copyright data on that i'll share it with you not a problem uh, just focus on what i'm saying more than the slides so what i'm saying is more important okay youtube video undi tarava chustunnam ante adu vere vishayam but let's keep it interactive here right so uh, before you start doing anything like you find a problem what to solve what product to make what idea to work on first set your mind what you want what you want to do in your life am i doing this for money am i doing this for charity or am i doing it for somebody else right most of the time money is the driving factor i want to be independent i want to make big money i don't want to work under somebody those are the minimum uh, mindset things that we have to set your mind with, right then only things will work edu ante em ante will start chestaru adu madhyalo aagipothundi don't do that first set your mindset mindset ante ne ide chestha edana gaani undi whatever happens i will work on this idea or the entrepreneurship or company no matter what a mindset unte na things will work otherwise you start to stop things don't work it doesn't work like that there is 90% i'll show the data of statistics 90% failure rate in the india startup starts 90% failure only the chances of success is very low because 
పీపుల్ ఆర్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఆ షాప్ టైం పెట్టే షో చూస్తారు రాత్రి అంతా కూర్చొని సిరీస్ మొత్తం కవర్ చేస్తాడు కొద్దిగా పేసి కంపెనీ పెట్టడం అంటారు ఇంతమంది ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఉంది ఎందుకు పెట్టినారు ఆయన అంటే ఇవి కమెంట్స్ షార్ట్ టైం కూర్చున్నా మస్తు ఆయన కొంచెం అయితే నాకు వస్తాయి అట్లా రాదు అంటే దట్స్ షో ఓకే దట్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ మసాలా ఇంటూ ఇట్ ఇట్ డజంట్ వర్క్ లైక్ దాట్ రియల్ వరల్డ్ వర్క్ డిఫరెంట్ సో డోంట్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ మైండ్ సెట్ లైక్ ఆడు ఇచ్చిన పైసలు నాకు వస్తాయి అని అట్ బనానా చిప్స్ అమ్మి ఇంటూ వన్ సిక్స్టీ క్రోస్ అమ్ ఇప్పుడు ఈజ్ ఓపెనింగ్ మన మన కంపెనీ షోకి ప్యూర్లీ బనానా చిప్స్ దాంట్లో ఇన్నోవేషన్ ఏం లేదు రేట్ బట్ ఈజ్ మేకింగ్ వన్ సిక్స్టీ క్రోస్ టర్న్ ఓవర్ ఆర్ చేస్తే మనకెందుకు కాదు రేట్ అంత పెద్ద పాపులేషన్ ఉంది వన్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ క్రోస్ పాపులేషన్ ఉంది దాంట్లో ఒక కోడు కోడు రూపాయలు నాకు రావా This is a standard uh, statement that I should listen. It doesn't work like that. Market is very important. It doesn't work based on your fancies. It works on data. No emotions in business. It's purely money. Okay. So before starting, I'm just giving an overview like what steps are there. First we say something called pre-startup. That's where you try to identify what problem I'm going to work on. Don't start with ideas. Rupai ki vai ideas unnai. రూపాయికి వెయ్యి ఐడియాస్ ఉన్నాయి దాని వాల్యూ చూడండి ఎంత వన్ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ ఒక వచ్చేసే వాల్యూ ఇట్స్ వెరీ స్మాల్ డోంట్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ ఐడియాస్ రిపీటింగ్ దిస్ అగైన్ ఎంటర్ ఎవ్రీ ప్రజెంటేషన్ యూ నీడ్ ఎన్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ స్టార్ట్ అవుతుంది ఏం ప్రాబ్లమ్ సాల్వ్ చేస్తున్నాం ఎవరి కోసం సాల్వ్ చేస్తున్నాం అక్కడి నుంచి స్టార్ట్ అవ్వాలి అర్థమైందా అలాగే వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఒక కంపెనీ వచ్చింది యూపీ నుంచి ఉత్తరప్రదేశ్ టు టీ హాప్ దే కంబైన్డ్ ఇది మన ట్రెడ్మిల్ ఉంటుంది కదా ట్రెడ్మిల్ సైకిల్ ఎక్స్ కూడా మొత్తం కంబైన్ చేసి దాంట్లో మూడు సంవత్సరాల నుంచి పనిచేస్తారు ఆ సొల్యూషన్ పైన నాలుగు ఫోటోలు తయారు ముప్పై లక్షలు తగ్గ పెట్టి ఐదు తగ్గ పెట్టి ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇస్ నాట్ రెడీ ఈవెన్ టుడే ద ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇస్ నాట్ రెడీ బికాస్ దే డింట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ నో బడి వాట్స్ ట్రెడ్మిల్ ఆన్ వెహికల్ రైట్ ఫైవ్ మోర్ మోర్ ఫోర్ ట్రెడ్మిల్ ఆన్ సొల్యూషన్ ఆన్ వెహికల్ రైట్ సో దే డింట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ దే మేడ్ ద సొల్యూషన్ ఇట్స్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ వేస్ట్ రైట్ నౌ వీఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు క్లీన్ దట్ వర్క్ ముప్పై లక్షలు ఇమాజిన్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ మనీ ఫైవ్ లాక్స్ జస్ట్ వేస్టెడ్ లైక్ దాట్ ఫోర్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ మేడ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఓకే అలాగే చాలా ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో డోంట్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ అన్ ఐడియా స్టార్ట్ విత్ అ ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఏం ప్రాబ్లం ఉంది ఎవరికి ఉంది ఎంత మందికి ఉంది అది వచ్చిన తర్వాతనే దాని పైన వచ్చిన స్టార్ట్ చేయాలి దట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ స్టేజ్ ఫార్ ప్రీ స్టార్ట్ దట్స్ వెన్ యూఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఫర్ హూమ్ యూఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సాల్వ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఓకే లైక్ ప్లాస్టిక్ గురించి చెప్పాను కదా షీ ఫౌండ్ అవుట్ లైక్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ప్లాస్టిక్ ఇస్ గెటింగ్ వేస్ట్ మెనీ ఎనిమల్స్ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్వాన్మెంటల్ ఇష్యూస్ she had done a lot of studies to understand how big is the problem enta pedda undi enta money vastundi many millions and billions and then they started to work on solution for it solutions easy nenu ide cheptunna ideas for madhyam oka session cheyisam ito please come back okay it will be very interactive and good also how to come up with solutions that's that's very easy actually to plan meer kuchunar ankonde i'm sure ipudu meek oka problem statement ichina ankonde ipudu vanda solution meere cheptu ara itla gaadlu edam ఐ ఓన్ వాట్ కోస్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ని టెక్నికల్ స్ట్రాంగ్ ఉంటాడు చేసి ఇస్తాడు అయిపోతుంది రైట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ ఈజీ బట్ ద ఫస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఇస్ అ టఫ్ పార్ట్ ఫైండింగ్ ద కస్టమర్ ఎవడు పైసలు ఇస్తాడు ఎవడు ఆడు దట్స్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పార్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ యూ షుడ్ పుట్ మోర్ ఎఫర్ట్ యాజ్ ఎంటర్ప్రినర్ ఆర్ వుడ్ బి ఎంటర్ప్రినర్ ఫస్ట్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ హూస్ గోయింగ్ టు పే యూ మనీ హూ వాట్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ అండ్ హౌ విల్ ఐ సాల్వ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ హౌ విల్ ఐ మేక్ ద మనీ రైట్ అంతే అక్క గీతక్క next uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so once that is done then comes the prototyping proof of concepts and proof of concept is we just trying to see the technology punches are there for example like if i'm trying to make a car for example a fast car ne tayar chestunna what is the minimum thing i want to know right as a customer what am i interested in any answer speed, speed one of them correct speed. safety safety sorry no design skills correct that is one and cost correct price of it cost of the price of the customer and thinking price what is the difference in cost and price price what as a developer what i am paying as a buyer what you are paying is a price cost plus profit is price okay so price is one design is one the most important is mileage right as a middle class be middle class probably ఆ మోర్ వెరీడ్ అవార్డ్ ఒక్క లీటర్ పెట్రోల్ ఇస్తే ఎన్ని కిలోమీటర్ అవుతుంది అవునా కదా కలర్లు షేప్లు అన్ని సెకండరీ వస్తాయి కానీ సో వెన్ ఐమ్ డెవలపింగ్ అ సొల్యూషన్ యాజ్ ఎ కంపెనీ ఐఎమ్
I'm just taking care of the meeting the requirement what customer is interested in. Then we design this one day. Then we have to design this one day. We have to design this one day. Just the engine panel design this one day. That is called POC. Like what they did, the shoe, right? Can you show? See, uh, if I give this as a product, you will buy. This wire is hanging outside. Ilau, ilau, uh, boards not to point your wheels. It's an example. Uh, board hanging like this. Will you use this as a product? No, right? You want it to be nicely packaged. It should look aesthetics and all, right? This is a POC, proof of concept. We are just trying to see like, if this technology will work or not. That is called proof of concept, first stage. Okay? Then I will put some more details in technical parts. Then I'll make a prototype, which is a little better than what we are seeing here. And finally, I'll make a product. Once I understood everything, how this thing is working, what challenges are there, then I'll convert this into actual product that is ready for commercial thing. And before that also, there's one step for minimum viable product, where I'll take this to the customer to test it and give it feedback. That is called minimum viable product. So first stage is POC, second prototype, which is technical testing. Third is MVP, that is to give to the customer to test him. That point we are not testing technical part. We are just testing aesthetics part and how it looks, how he is using it, any issues with that amount. Okay, that is MVP. Then goes the final product. In the story, the challenge one. But that's how it works. These are the stages. It's very high level in Chupu channel, but that's how things will work. Any physical product, if it's an app based, things might be a little different, but if it is a physical product like what you are seeing here, it works like this. Okay. Any questions so far? This story Makta Machin Mundu, first thing you will do is mindset. Set your mindset. That's what we are talking about today as a problem. Most of the challenges are just listed here. When you are starting new or you are starting just initial stages. Set your mind for long term. Entrepreneurship is long term, it's never like a short term. Three months is the six months like what they in millionaire report. Overnight success. Overnight is never overnight, okay? There's a lot of stories behind it. It's not shown in the media. Media just shows you only like six months like in There's a lot of background work has been already done, which is not shown to us, right? So entrepreneurship is always a long term process, it's never a short term. Long term again depends on your product also. You can't define like six months, one year. But for some people, one year is a long term. Right? For me, six months is a long term. I've done products like, like this $20 million machine, which I showed you earlier. The cost to you about $20 million. We have done in 12 months. No prototypes. Direct from 3D model on computers to production. We never done any prototypes. That's how we do product development. India are customers. Chepti Chepti Parishan, it was an investor scandal to prototype card. Prototype to clients. Why would we need prototype? Okay. Um, when you when you start working on entrepreneurship, lot of unplanned activities come up, unplanned issues come up, right? So how will you prepare for that? Cash flow issues, paisa is the biggest challenge we always face. We expect some grant to come at certain point of time. For example, the uh, government of India has given one crore rupees for some startups. They have uh, floated uh, one competition, A N I C N E, one crore each. They said like any startup who is good in uh, environmental issues, all startups, about 30 startups top in India will be given one crore. 28 monthly application, 30 was the limit. They had a budget of 30 crores, 28 applied, everybody got fund. And Chetri Prad Paisa Announcement like issue to one crore and the What should we do? You have planned everything, expecting money is coming, but did not come. What will you do, right? Challenges like this after. So you prepare for those kind of challenges also. Next is uh, a team no mindsets are so different. I'll give so many examples of this. Like right now, working with student startups also, I'll go start here. There's a college will sign up here. The college has given, promised that we'll give fund also, one, one lakh rupees to start the product. Okay. Our sign here, our jump. Start here, three months, five years, our jump. I'm not interested. I'll leave the product, our jump. RA sign vision, you can the a paper pen, right? Now why? The three founders, we have a number. Alak Paisal is, is now college is ready, but the sign vision art, art journey. 
ప్రేమ చేయాలంటే దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ఇండివిజువల్ ఇష్యూస్ రైట్ పడలేదు ఒక మెంబర్ కి ఇంకో మెంబర్ తో పడలేదు సంథింగ్ హ్యాపెన్ విత్ ఎ గర్ల్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఇష్యూ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్ షుడ్ నెవర్ హ్యాపెన్ రైట్ ఇట్ ఇట్ హ్యాపెన్ సేమ్ గర్ల్ ఫ్రెండ్ సేమ్ టు డిఫరెంట్ బాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ స్టార్టప్ స్కూల్ బిట్ టైం ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేయాలి అందరిని కూసబెట్టి దెన్ వి డిడ్ అగైన్ ఎ న్యూ పేపర్ వర్క్ గాట్ ద మనీ ఇట్స్ సచ్ ఎ పెయిన్ఫుల్ రైట్ సో ద పాయింట్ హియర్ ఇస్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ టీమ్ things like this happen we don't even know how where it will shoot up always do paperwork before starting on there is something called founders agreement before starting only write those document conditions that boss when you leave you will give the percentage to us and you will not work through this particular problem statement for another 3 years then our pakkam edukana put on adjust kodam only right so better is write the conditions saying that for 3 years at least or 5 years down the line you will not work on the similar problem statement again అనగా <laughs> I mean, it would be or somebody husband or, or better half want you to be there at that point of time. Something happened in the mindset, which is okay, right? I am facing it with my wife also, some days. It's not going to happen, I don't know what happened. She doesn't say, I don't understand, because I'm, a, I'm not an emotional guy, I'm like, more like a mechanical guy. So, I can't understand what she's saying. All these imbalances happen and learn, actually. So, better is to learn how to handle that I'm, i learned it over if you're trying initially it was very painful i'll give an example my own own example when i returned back from us um, i got married just at that time so i'm i don't want anybody to touch my food that's how i am so i got used to being in the us so i don't want any pain my wife wanted to feed like in my mouth like newly married right she out of love i don't know what, what was that but i was like why are you touching my food <laughs> silly reason now i understand what was the reasoning behind it but at that point is like why are you touching my food right so so we don't know what the other person is thinking right what's going through their mind so it's better to prepare for that um that one competition um competition issues are lot right and the moment you come with a solution there's already somebody there doing something for sure we report and what the idea nadi yon ki rale naake vachindi i somebody will be doing something in that area so better to understand what is going on in the market okay uh some implication of technical challenges fear of failure i'm just listing this take your time understand this stuff but these are challenges we will face day in day out not all of them but definitely few of them for sure next slide please so with that in mind how to tackle all this what are these skills and competencies as an entrepreneur or would be entrepreneur i should that's what we are going to talk skill is something like oka gas simple example with the gas poi undi kada and on chesi manta vittadu that is a skill one of the skills right dan paina oka bogana vetti vatta yesukodu that's a competence as simple as it going a programming like if you know a java programming that's a skill but to make a good program which makes more sense and is usable for others that's competence as simple as that hoy el kedam skill like they want to explain i have just made them when i was coming on the way that's where i made that example but in simple terms if you know programming like any any language or anything in particular or if you know like building that's a skill making a good product out of it which is useful for a customer or somebody that's a competency you know okay and we are talking about not skills today skills you can easily develop you practice you get a skill we are going to talk about competencies what competencies are required to become a good entrepreneur clear makes sense yes sir now yes is next slide i would also dictionary rash in atla i don't know why i left for the period is now i put some things at the bottom okay um, i always do this whenever i'm doing a presentation if you want to learn deeper into it there are links at the bottom i'll send this presentation out if you want to go deeper into it understand how these things are done i just put highlights only but if you want to go deeper there are links at the bottom you can go there refer them 
can read more out of it. Okay. So basically, starting from creating something, developing something, and managing something. Like if you start a company, right? I start this in upper Nuchi, then I'm going to do this for the requirements on my competencies, those competences are entrepreneurship competences. As simple as that, right? But one day, already, there are so many factors involved, right? Yeah. Entrepreneurship also. You start from thinking like, what is the problem statement I want to solve? How do I solve it? How will I make money? How will I take it forward? How will I make the next generation product? All those things for which you need some development or, or some skill set behind. All those skill, skill sets individually required, that's what competence is all about. That's what we're going to talk about. Next slide. So basically, they are broadly classified as personal skills, interpersonal skills, and the business skills. Okay, broadly, very high level. Chala classifications are nine. If I keep every word in you, I'll be dead myself. So to avoid all that, I put very broad classifications. Personal skills are there. That is what motivates you to do every day what you're trying to do. Interpersonal is like how to manage people. You're not alone working and always right? as an entrepreneur, you're supposed to work with people to get your work done or get your money done. So that's where the interpersonal competencies are required. Okay. And the last one is business skills. Just having this interpersonal or personal skills is not enough. How to make money, how to make it forward, how to take things forward. That's why you need business uh, competencies also. So these broad class mechanisms are part of the competencies. Clear? So who got what competencies? Who, who's that extrovert here? Okay, I got I know one. Any extroverts? Like extrovert is a person who can easily go and talk outside with anybody. Doesn't matter. You are extrovert. Yes. Um, let's see how good you are. I'll give a scenario. You present uh, how you would. Let, let's see. Uh, have you got any idea? Why am I here? Why are you in this situation? I have to tell you more others to see what I like. You have an idea to develop the education. No, yes. Are you the development of the question? Any sector you have to do? Sustainability. Now, sustainability is Sustainable development is something else. Sustainability is something else. So, for example, when these girls are, two girls are developing this solution, I make sure that any of these products, any of the parts that I'm using, are going back for use or repurpose. That's a sustainability development. Right? Sustainable development. Sustainability is again towards the environment, right? So, two different things come about. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I just wanted to see how we are in store. Okay, so interpersonal, personal, and the business, right? All these competencies are required. Next slide, please. I've divided again, like subdivided again. Chart time in the other, so I have to put some more slides, right? So I did that. Uh, vision. So, as I said, like there's so many parts of a startup, right? So you start a three startup, startup, and there's growth. The vision is the first part. Make your mindset clear. That's for your own personal thing. That I will do this work no matter what happens. Right? So that's the vision part. Why you are doing it? What is the purpose of doing it? Like for your case, you are more worried about the sustainable power the environment part of it. That's your purpose, right? And the direction of the company, which direction is this going? I'll share the slides from don't worry, take don't need to take please. Which direction you are taking the company towards? Is it like towards uh, making people's life better, or to make your own money, or to make an exit faster, all those things come with the here. So, vision. so before you start also, right, one more point I'll repeat. When you're starting your company also, set your mind initially only, like, am I building this company for long term, or do you want to exit in like one, two years? Exit until I'm a sheep, I see this very company. That is exit, nothing wrong, right? Is that what you're trying to do, or are you trying to build it for long term? Like Tata has built a long term company. Right? It just goes on and on and on, right? But if you see other companies which just sold out, right? 20 million, 30 million, or billion dollars, they sell the company, they get out. 
our mindset when the set just today it will be easy for you to how to develop the company right otherwise what happens is just keep on going on and on and on right never work without timelines this is a lesson learned for me and also for many startups while in your sort of timeline we told 6 months like just uh, 3 months like just uh, one year like just a set just one day one open and it put one year that is given if you put open and it project it will never work that's given timeline set just only one year over the year in launch is the company you know i put the product by the way at the set just then the back backwards calculation change one year by the raw and the aim steps say learn that and execute it otherwise goes on forever it will never work remember that timeline is very important so exit all like okay long term make that decision first adaptability so many conditions as i said earlier right any uh, circumstance can happen at any point of time how adaptable you are like how you can adapt or change yourself to take care of the particular issue that is happening at that point of time it could be anything or internal or external it could be like your own employees or the situation it could be anything else how adaptable you are some people are like very firm they don't want to change no matter what in jeffy na veda vandu that will not work in entrepreneurship it's very hard i personally worked in a company in hyderabad madhapur lo the startup company they are still trying to work uh, that founder is about 55 years old or something right and mindset set in jeffy na yalantu employees will give so many ideas sir ipla yeste manaku benefit avutadi you know i don't believe it the reason was he was from iit these guys are from local colleges the only reason was that the guy was from iit karakpur something top college and this employees are from local colleges is that a reason not to hear our mindset la illagandi i'm seriously going to see many examples like that especially working with mentees who are like 55 years old it's they have some mindsets already set ki mai aise hi kaam karta hu aise hi rehta i don't know why that happens but not everybody i should say i have one more mentee who is about 70 years old he is developing solutions for uh, his menstrual pads and like waste uh, used menstrual pads they make incinerators they burn down the whole thing uh, so that the pollution doesn't happen for the environment right uh, so that guy is like 70 years old but he listens everything like what i told you he follows also so it depends again what kind of mindset you are but the point is you should be adaptable don't be like form on like jp ne vedam one more thing to remember is believe the data not emotions emotions doesn't work always try to get as much as information in terms of numbers data entrepreneurship works on data only not by in jp na media thing at all and one more thing that is going on commonly in indian startup scenario is thade odu mentor ga vastu not like me okay somebody okay i just not like me i told me you do like this that's only one single opinion okay by the way it's only one single opinion right it's not market so even if he tells you like there is something like this you check if it is making sense or not you gather the information you do your service afternoon we'll talk about survey how to do it but uh, that's what we should be doing get the data get the information you make decision don't allow anybody to to point for you residents there will be lot of challenges where people try to put you down uh, yesterday i had a situation where uh, uh, somebody just directly told me that you don't know what you are doing possible right it's because he thinks he knows more it's okay right it disturbed me a lot as a humans we are like that right like initially if somebody says like you have set your mind and you know you have done it right but somebody says no you are wrong then we get little disturbed right but i have to come out of it right i make this presentation aaj aap se baat karna hai mujhko so to bounce back and get back into my groove and can start working on it so work till midnight and 4 am in the morning did my slides my work is done right so that's bouncing back right not trying to again show off but that's how you have to bounce back get back to your world because always remember your vision then go some start this moment so you put in mentally to start this now i want this country to be making better products right i want the country to send the products on this place to the outer world outer countries right not only for us so we have to make that happen then i have to just bounce back right so that's what i'm doing so this situation will happen to you also bounce back to always remember your vision uh as as entrepreneurs we always been in a situation where we have to lead other people right because they are not in the same mindset as you are 
you are trying to build your own company, right? But employees are not in their mindset. They want to just make money, as simple as that. So don't expect that, and he should do himself. It will never happen. That will never happen. Understand this. All Sundar and next quarter, who implement this quarter, who solve this quarter, who put together, they are there for making money only. The salary at the end of the day, they want their monthly salary only. That's what they are. They are focused about. So our point of view, you can't expect them to do by their own. Either you set up the process, you give them guidelines like how this is done, then they'll execute. Ninety-nine percent of the cases, that's what is happening. Don't expect that they will take initial step by themselves and they'll solve it. Never happens. You have to lay out a process for them, step by step. Why they should do? It will be a stage by stage. Are you correct? Yes, no, no. Check it out. But never expect that they themselves will come out and do this. That is again, this kid, those are different. But expecting them to come out by themselves will never happen. So that's why you have to show your leadership capabilities. Like you have to come out, guide them how to do things. That's a leadership part of competency. Okay. Problem solving. There will be situations where a customer has some requirement. You have to come up with a different solution for it. Right. Can you come up with new solutions or not as an entrepreneur? Yes. How do you know? Yeah. Different possible solutions, right? Which suits the requirements of the customer. But for that to happen, you should have a thinking process in your mind. You have to develop how to come up with new new ideas. Okay. So that's where the design thinking and all in the negative. But then they be saw. So all those things come into picture. See again, all these things can be developed for a period of time. It's not that we are born with a vision. Okay. When I did invention, I was taking shower when I got that idea. It just happened just like that. I don't know how. That happened because we are focusedly working on that. You have to focusedly work on it. Otherwise, ideas will not just generate like that, right? Yeah, age now, age now, age now, age now. Manna, someone said, "Someone said, 'I understand it.' What about that? You focusedly work on it. Many challenges will come. And the load of sorrow, the attachment will be sorrow, and the wife will say, 'All these distractions will always be there.' But when you sit for something doing, focus completely on it, and then you get the solutions." We have done it in process, and we are making others also do. If they also do. Next slide. Uh, networking. It is very important. As an entrepreneur, it is feed your mind. Internal solution and solution. This is quite a matter of work for you. It's never going to work. You have to go to many events. You have to talk to people. You have to interact with your customer personally. After that, I am going to talk about the market survey also. We will make it do also. But always remember. कोई जनल तो माटी तक चाहिए इंटरनी आनल पेटे वर्कअन इफ यू डूइंग एन ऐप बेस्ड सोल्यूशन आलो यू आर् इंटराक्टिंग वित् योर कस्टमर फर् शोर यू हेव टू अंडरस्टा दि पेन पाइंट अंडरस्टा दि प्रॉब्लम दें यू विट बेटर सोल्यूशन अदरवे मन अब सोल्यूशन वाले अभी वाले ओके सो बेटर टू डू लाट नैटवर्किंग Oh, it's easy these days, ma'am. Actually, there's so many events happening. Tea hall. There are symposiums going on. Webinars are happening. Hackathons are there. Ma'am, Zamana will only do. Only paper presentation will do. Right? But now you have tea hall. Tea hall. Whenever anybody gives permission, also from there, you just register for a event. They'll give an email for you. Registration email. Just walk in with that. You can get in. Enter into it. You don't need a mentor. I'm a mentor. I can always take you in, but you don't need all that all that stuff. Just go to their T Hub um, Instagram page or LinkedIn. They'll post events that are happening from time to time. Every month there is some one. It has become next chapter actually. Everybody comes goes there only. Some event is happening. Okay, you take advantage of that. Any like suppose sustainability. Right? If there is any event is happening on sustainability, just go and attend that. You will learn something, right? You at least will know like, who is the startup working in that area, who are the people in that area. You get to talk to them. In court, he, I should have uh, written there in the next slides. Man, I can buy a mic too. But don't tell Martha that he's a child boy. Man, he wants to go home, right? Child common problem. I face this with lot of students. When I say them to go and do survey, you know, check them out. Let them say, "Put your earphones, put your earphones." Man, just because they enjoy it, hard and cool event. You just go and talk to us, right? It's okay. It doesn't matter. It, 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 the end of the day, LinkedIn no profiles in the mandi ko nahi. Everybody should have LinkedIn profile. We are professionals now, right? Build your profiles now, right? 
you can't build profiles sitting one day it doesn't work like that you have to build the profile over a period of time you are in session attend chestunnaru kada you are post chesina linkedin anybody posted on the linkedin personal it's building your profile or not you are learning something here right yes sir one mentor is talking to you not about me somebody is talking here has some credibility why are you not using the credibility for your own own use right why not i expect you to not to tag me or something don't it's okay if you tag me so it's not about increasing my viewership or something okay? i'm not trying to do that it's not enough i don't know that kada my my bolne kada the point here is uh, you can't build your profile overnight it happens over a period of time okay start doing it right now start linkedin instagram i not recommend adi nen chaala kashta padda dani it's so it's so painful to remove instagram profiles are patkon bodena unda di ganta nara ganta to gante itla opene undi i started instagram i made a profile for students only vala kentha me story ga ani are i have petty knowledge it's just it's so addictive actually you just keep on going two hours three hours what did i get nothing it's like never my son is like yaka no i still don't know i literally deleted i deleted the app and i could not just keep up with that actually i installed the app to test myself but i got into sleep completely it's so addictive right by baraj it's not adding much value for us and your customer if he is there on instagram then you go for that if he is not there for okay it's like not at all right uh, for fun and all there are lot of things to do not instagram but again linkedin please make the profile and one one more sincere request don't put dark cat photos on the profile photo it's a linkedin profile okay it's a professional profile inko man bahu has to click the photo it and they take pictures on the backwards like it's a linkedin profile where usually a photo right it should be a profile for professional use ukka photo lo illi photo lo lehande mask veti photo that's highlight photo lo mask veti god that's the highest highlight as why man say like, why do you need mask in a show right put a professional photo so that people can correlate your picture to the profile what you are building okay it should not be like this pretty is like book a photo or video photo some people put like bts photos not you there are some very big fans of bts or all the world right bts photo no bts second is like it's not bts profile right? it's your profile the another advantage i don't know how many are planning to go for higher studies if you are planning for go for higher studies this is the time to build your profile on on linkedin they check you don't know they check it in the background okay please build start building right now only second year third year you should start doing it that is one use case second is even as you become entrepreneur they will check when you especially when the investors come they do the complete due diligence not even financial personal due diligence is also aim gankar nishin you know so this linkedin will give the profile for you okay put good stuff whatever you are learning wherever you are going for sessions like this or any events post karo tag karo okay showcase yourself it's okay it's a professional profile right not facebook or instagram or something clear if you are not done already please do it and tag me if possible <laughs> that's an important part um, and one more thing webinars online or offline you should do and idi mana degara avutundi kada there is a big uh, symposium place in hyderabad hicc hicc you know lot of events happen on electric vehicles or agriculture equipment you name it lot of events keep on going go on google search for hicc events emu ne aaroja kada vellandi anything mobility it could be any any anything in everything they do okay just raise up for it or every time registration for visitors is always free there is no money involved especially when government of telangana or government of india is hosting it it is always free saturday sunday sunday after all ipro unta different ga option will be there where you can easily go where there is no working day attend those sessions learn what they are doing what problems they are solving what kind of equipment they got just chusi kuda nechukodaniki chaala untadi kada ఇప్పుడు మనం ఫోటో చూడడం కన్నా రియల్ గా చూడడం వేరే ఉంటుంది సో జస్ట్ సి గో టచ్ ఫీల్ ఇట్ యూజ్ ఇట్ యూ లర్న్ అలాట్ యాక్చువల్లీ మనం ఇన్స్ ఆఫ్ జస్ట్ మీ టాకింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ ఐ షో యూ వాట్ ఐ నీ దట్స్ అ డిఫరెంట్ థింగ్ రైట్ సో ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆర్ ఎక్కడ మనం సిటీ పార్క్
And definitely TVOX, T Hub has a lot of events going on. Raise for your and go. If you are not able to get any events, please call me or reach out to me and like you. Not a problem. Financial management. Uh, this is one thing we always lack. Generally, I'm talking about, especially technical people, we are not given to financial handlings. Like we don't much understand like how to handle financial things. I mean, as a family, people, that's a different case. But as a business, there are a lot of things that goes behind it, how to manage the money, right? Incoming and outgoing both. So it's important that we understand what are those competencies that we should have or skill set to manage the money. But technical skill set, like a na, financial attendance in as entrepreneur. Technical, I can get people who can develop the solutions for you easily. You pay the money and you get it, unless you don't have it, that's a different case. But financial is still in your hand. I'll hire a CEA, I'll hire a CPA. It doesn't work like that. Of course, later point of time. But initially, you should understand how the money flow is going on. What pricing you're giving, what cost is going on. That's very important for you. Marketing and sales. Uh, as an entrepreneur, don't expect that you put a marketing guy or a sales guy and he will go and sell the product. Initial stages, you yourself have to go and sell it. That's the expectation. After the rest of the customer, then you can come back and change those things. Your strategy, how to sell product. Okay. Personally, sales in the top of communication. This is one of the biggest problems I commonly see in students and uh, initial startups. They are not able to present their ideas properly. Once they don't say demand grow, presentation go to completely opposite. Very commonly seen. Work on your communication. Definitely, you have to work on your communication. Language is not the problem. You have to articulate and you should be able to express what you are trying to present of your product. If you are not able to do it, nobody is going to buy it. Okay. So work on this. The easy method I have seen. I come from government colleges. I studied in government colleges of CBIT. I'm not from a convent batch, right? But anybody convent batches? No convent batches. Convent schools. Nice. That's good. I don't have a personal problem with convent batches, but the point is, uh, we are from schools where English is not the first thing, right? Language is not an issue. So when you are presenting, uh, unless you are coming out of the state to going to another state for investments or something, language is not the issue. But I highly recommend English ki koncham panchayan, English language, because when you are going to other states or investments, they do not tell you, right? So they expect you to talk in English, especially when you are going for investments. Our time, you should know English. One way I learned English is reading the Hindu paper. It times of India, I will go to the photo. I will do the language. Okay, avoid those papers. Use the Hindu paper. Again, I am not promoting Hindu paper. The language is good. The words they use is better. Especially people who are trying to fly from this out of this country, you should start working on the Hindu paper right now. Uh, read the articles. Note down the words which are different for you, which you have never came across. Always have a dictionary in your hand. Correlate the word with the dictionary and try to learn different words and synonyms for it. That's how it should be done. And one more thing, when you're speaking, right? Speak in front of a mirror. If you can face yourself, you can face anybody in the world. That's one way of learning how to speak better uh, in your communication. Mirror or mirror, part of it. In the funny one, the say. It's very funny, actually. It's, 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 so, it's so stupid also, actually. So that's one way of improving a communication, but definitely over the communication part. That, that one competence is very much required. When the one thing in the world, technical financial in the world, and must have not done product selling. It happens like that also. Of course, they should know, but if you are able to present in a way uh, that you can convince others, it's much easier. Why do you go down? Madam, are you there? It's okay. No buzzword to do now. Are you listening, Mama? It's for you. It's not for me. If you're not interested, you can walk out. I'll take care of the attendance. Sorry. You have any questions? You are understanding what I'm saying? Can you please stand up? Can you tell me what I just told you? Please pay attention. It's for you only. It's not for me. Thank you. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, I think that's exciting. 
okay uh, so those are all different competencies right we discussed about but how to develop them if we don't we are not born entrepreneurs right so how to develop them one of the ways is uh, first get awareness of it like what they are what what is a competency for entrepreneur right? what are different types of competencies have given some examples here but you go back search on google there anyone chat gpt i you know and google talu undi talu undi but i would know right avoid chat gpt for some time because there are no standard references at this point of time so please avoid for some certain period of time start with google with good references only okay try to use very good references like un un nation united nation programs or some incubators standard incubators like see how is one standard incubator or sign iit bombay has sign incubator they post lot of uh, antler is another i'll share some links also the like antler incubate uh, incubator only they support startups they put lot of uh, knowledgeable knowledge information also refer those who learn new new stuff okay akkade em ayyade ante those are standard things which are already tested tried and working for others so that will make more sense for you okay just don't start using chat gpt or looking in in no that what no it is not complete a reference there so first getting awareness about what are different types of competencies that you should follow make build your awareness of that. if it doesn't happen overnight it takes time learn over a period of time okay just one నోట్బుక్లో రాసుకు కొంతమందికి అలవాటు ఉంటుంది నోట్బుక్లో రాసుకుంటారు మర్చిపోతారు దట్స్ వెరీ కామన్ గెట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ హ్యాబిట్ రైట్ వన్స్ యూ రైట్ యూ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇట్ ఆల్సో రాసిన మర్చిపోయినాం కాదు యూ హెవ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇట్స్ అన్ హ్యాబిట్ ఇట్స్ హ్యాపెన్స్ ఓవర్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ దిస్ కాంపిటెన్సీస్ డోంట్ కమ్ ఓవర్ మై గెట్ టు కీప్ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ ఒక టాపిక్ పట్టుకోండి దానికి ఒక నోటి పని చేయండి యూ అప్లై ఇట్ ఫర్ రియల్ కండిషన్స్ దెన్ యూ లర్న్ సౌ కూడా నిద్ర వస్తుంది right if you take a book you keep reading you get sleep naage to sleep never sleep when you say one right so if you practice on have thing then it is practical put on assessment test is known it is not in the early on because you thinking we are doing right after also we'll make a survey i mean we'll do a survey with you that's a practical thing not like so the order on that you so the element is the one book not even the number one book well i don't want that kind of stuff so once you get an awareness on any competency try to apply and practice on it. just don't randomly just read and read it okay if like you are practice it here yeah. that is a problem right how to practice it people for example communication undadi nen cheppina so the communication by your sir communication develop cheskovali it like that so then you practice it here and reading and mala reading it goes So, daily usage of the language. Daily usage. So, it is that yellow card forms. Right. Top one of persons for it. Friends and family can support you. Put your phone. Okay. Most of the time. Put your phone down on the other side. They always put you down only. That's a different case. But most of the times they try to support you. Get out of them. Talk to unknown people. Okay. Challenge, challenge yourself. If you don't challenge yourself, you will never go to higher levels. ఇప్పుడు మీ క్లాస్ సింపుల్ చెప్తా మాక్సిమం జీపీ ఎంత వస్తుంది టెన్ వస్తుంది దానికైనా ఎక్కువ రాదు రైట్ ఆ టెన్ కూడా కష్టం ఇప్పుడు సెవెన్ లో ఎయిట్ నైన్ వరకు ఆడిపోయింది బ్రిటన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఉన్నారు కదా ఇది సో అన్న కదా నైన్ ఎయిట్ ఆ నైన్ కదా మన వద్దు నైన్ పాయింట్ అసలు బికాస్ బుకిష్ నాలెడ్జ్ రైట్ ఇట్ వర్క్ మచ్ యూ వాంట్ ప్రాక్టికల్ పీపుల్ సో గో అండ్ టాక్ టు అన్ నోన్ పీపుల్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఫ్యామిలీస్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ దట్ because the confidence raw gun starting boy putton kon maatladu anukuni aa nikina anukuni saar ipudu avala gadu aa nittu raala kon maatladu anukuni aa edemante cheppina antu right so start with people who have some uh, understanding on some no no person right oka inko cheptha link line for what to tell you one thing uh, make connections with people who are in a similar sector let's suppose she talked about sustainability right search for uh, groups which are in sustainable area okay and follow those groups and try to see who are the people working in that area and make connection with them professional connections only okay no personal just professional connections only and meeru 10 mandi office lo 8 mandi reply cheyandi 
స్టార్టింగ్ లోనే అవుతుంది ఐఎమ్ టెల్లింగ్ దిస్ హాపెన్స్ ఏమైతుంది సారీ అనమాట ఎందుకంటే వీడియో కూడా రెస్పాండ్ చేస్తాడు రైట్ కామన్ ఫార్ తొమ్మిది తొమ్మిదో మంది రెస్పాండ్ చేస్తాడు యాక్సెప్ట్ చేస్తాడు ఓకే టిల్ దట్ టైమ్ యూ హీ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ పర్సిస్టెన్స్ రైట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కాంపిటెన్సీస్ పర్సిస్టెన్స్ యూ కాన్ డీల్ థింగ్స్ యూ హెవ్ మేక్ ఇట్ హ్యాపన్ టిల్ ఇట్ హ్యాపన్స్ వంద మంది పంపించారు అనుకోండి తొంభై మంది కూడా ఇట్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ దట్ నైంటీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ రెస్పాండ్ టు నైంటీ వన్ విల్ రెస్పాండ్ టిల్ దట్ టైమ్ యూ హీ వర్క్ అయ్యాడు ఇట్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ ఇట్ హ్యాపన్స్ ఆల్సో ఈవెన్ మీ సంబడీస్ అనుకోండి I may not respond for two days, but third day I will respond. Right? It, it happens like that. So don't just let it go. Be persistent on it. Get it happen. All right? Uh, practice, right? So how to get realistic conditions? Like financial in the group. How would I get a real case, right? How would I get a real case to practice? Like our daily routine, daily month, once a week, not to think about the household case. Then based on that, you can learn from that. That's one way of doing it. Take your own case in your own personal lives. You can learn from that. Or there's something called fake it till you make it, right? You take some random problem statement, start working on it, develop without money involved. Just, you just have an example on it, right? Keep working on it very sincerely. Then you work on it. Take an example, help of some mentor or advisor, work with him, ask him to guide you in college or outside. How many knows there's something called IIC in your college? IIC, Institutional Innovation Council. Uh, I'm sure you know. No, you know. You know. Anybody knows what is IIC? College alone, the government of India, which is free life service. Institutional Innovation Council under any higher education institutions, engineering colleges, MBS degrees are supposed to have in any, every college. Then you can say, మీరు స్టార్ట్అప్ పెట్టుకోవాలనుకుంటే ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ షుడ్ హెల్ప్ యూ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ స్టెప్ ఫర్ ఫ్రీ అవునా మేడం దేర్ ఆర్ స్పెసిఫిక్ పీపుల్ అసైన్ టు హ్యాస్ లెక్చరర్స్ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ నో ఇట్స్ యువర్ మిస్టేక్ ఓన్లీ ఓకే గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఇస్ గివింగ్ ఫండ్స్ ఐ మీన్ ఫండ్స్ ఇచ్చారు కదా స్టార్టింగ్ ఇచ్చేది టు సపోర్ట్ దీస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఓకే యూస్ చేయకపోతే మీ తప్పు అవుతుంది ఐఎమ్ టెల్లింగ్ యూ వెరీ ఫ్రాంక్లీ ఐఎమ్ మెంటర్ ఆఫ్ చేంజ్ ఫ్రమ్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా we don't get money but we make sure that you get this kind of information so that you can get benefited job raadam chaala easy i'm seriously telling you four years ayinda raadu job akka phone cheyali ipistadi problem raadu when you are in the second third years you have a golden opportunity to start your own company so i'm seriously telling you lot of funds available grants unnai 4 lakh to 7 lakhs are easily available prayas amounts amounts are there the problem ekka vastadu ante edo problem statement ani atkostaru ayo dukan vetta ani that is not what they are trying to support they are trying to support innovative ideas invention and innovation ki difference hota sorry invention and innovation what is the difference like something that creates something correct so i am talking about innovative solutions only not inventions invention also me are we able to chala if you can do that's the best thing right if you can improve something what is existing in the market and you can do much make it better that is innovation and that is getting funded really well okay as a women entrepreneurs lot of opportunities are there seriously telling you not joking also okay i enduko man india lot of undi women entrepreneurs and women finally to sir also for some reason whatever that might be some might be unna pudu use cheyadam tappu ledhu right utilize that do proper work prepare yourself apply for grants and get your work done that simple it is not but identify good problem statement first set your mindset find a good problem statement and then open but your starting point should be the iics institutional innovation council talk to them if you are not getting support then you go to iics atal incubation centers there are four or five in hyderabad you can approach them and get the support you require there are mentors sitting like me i am one of the mentors at atal incubation center at ali pragati nagar gaon atal incubation center is set up by government of india to support startups student startups okay they handhold you they provide mentors in different sectors to take things forward they provide incubation pre incubation all the support required to take things forward friends up most of india are put by me they are trying to make it to 120 to 140 depending on your sector which you are in there are specific aics also which can help you a lot సిబిఐటి లో కమ్యూనిటీ సెంటర్ ఉంది ఏసీఐసీ అని ఇవన్నీ సో మెనీ అక్రెడిట్స్ అందులో 
మీ కమ్యూనిటీలో ఏదైనా ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఉంటే వాళ్ళు సాల్వ్ చేస్తారు దట్స్ వాట్ దర్ సపోజ్ టు సపోజ్ యూ ఓకే యూటిలైజ్ దీస్ బెనిఫిట్స్ వాళ్ళు ఆల్సో గివ్ యూ లాట్ ఆఫ్ బెనిఫిట్స్ ఫర్ యూ వాళ్ళు ఇంకో సపోర్ట్ చేస్తారు ఓకే మీకు కూడా సపోర్ట్ చేస్తున్నారు అది కాలేజ్ బై గివింగ్ ఫండ్స్ ఆల్సో అండ్ టెక్నికల్ సపోర్ట్ ఆల్సో చేయకపోతే ఏమో తప్ప సి ఇవాళ నేను చెప్పిన ఒక ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ తర్వాత తిరిగి చూసి అరే సార్ చెప్పినట్టు నేను లేదు ఆ ఫీలియర్స్ కొంచెం దాగా అవుతున్నాడు కొంచెం చేసుకుంటే కొత్త ఎలా ఉంటుంది అని ఆ ఫీలింగ్ గానే నేను చేసుకోవడం బెటర్ కదా ఇట్ మే నాట్ హ్యాపన్ బట్ ఆ ఫీలింగ్ గానే ఇది బెటర్ ఇట్ ఫండ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు యు హ్యావ్ టైమ్ యువర్ ఎనర్జీ యు హ్యావ్ ఆపర్చునిటీ యూటిలైజ్ ఇట్ ఐఐసిఎస్ టు గో ఫర్స్ట్ గో టు ప్లేస్ ఓకే ఫర్ యు టు స్టార్ట్ అది కాకపోతే మెంటర్స్ ఉన్నారు ఐఐసిఎస్ ఉన్నాయి ఇన్ లింక్ ఇన్ ఆల్సో ట్రై టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ హూస్ ద మెంటర్ ఇన్ యూ స్పెసిఫిక్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ సస్టైనబిలిటీ రిలేటెడ్ ఆ మెంటర్ సుధాకర్ సాగి అని వరల్డ్ హి ఇస్ ఎ వరల్డ్ నోన్ మెంటర్ హి ఇస్ గైడింగ్ స్టార్ట్అప్స్ ఐడియా థింక్ ఇట్ మనోజ్ కుమార్ బరగర్ ఆన్సర్ సార్ నేను నేను వచ్చారు కదా హి ఇస్ సస్టైనబిలిటీ బిగ్ మెంటర్ యాక్చువల్లీ వరల్డ్ నోన్ సో యు కెన్ కనెక్ట్ విత్ హిమ్ టు గెట్ గైడెన్స్ సో అట్లా చాలా ఆప్షన్స్ ఉన్నాయి యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకోండి ప్లీజ్ మిగతా వాళ్ళు ఎందుకు తెలియదు కదా దీస్ ఆర్ ఫ్యాక్ట్స్ దట్ ఆర్ హ్యాపీ ఆన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ ఐ గాట్ మెంట్రీస్ హూ గాట్ ఫోర్ ల్యాక్ గ్రాండ్ సెవెన్ ల్యాక్ గ్రాండ్ వన్ సిఆర్ ఆల్సో ఇలా పని చేసిన వాళ్ళే నాట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎనీ ఐఐటీస్ ఆర్ ఎన్ఐటీస్ ఈ గాట్ ఫండ్స్ టు డూ దిస్ గోల్స్ వీఆర్ డూయింగ్ రైట్ నా ఓకే ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎ క్లాస్ రూమ్ లైక్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ టీచింగ్ నా కాంపిటెన్సీస్ కాన్ బి డెవలప్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ జస్ట్ ఫర్ అవేర్నెస్ ఓన్లీ ఓకే just to know for you to get an awareness that there is something called like this is there and you can also develop it that's what i'm trying to do here but you have to practice put in application then only you will learn that's how competencies are developed uh see one more thing manam as indians we are very bad in group work right ok to hard work and for 10 mandi atkochina ipudu okkoda okko maatladu i don't know what problem we have ay endo issue man you go slow like the one idlo పక్కనతో పని చేపించుకోవడం అంటే మనకి తోని కాదు అన్లెస్ దేస్ ఆఫ్ మనీ ఇన్వాల్వ్ రైట్ ఇప్పుడు ఇంతమంది ఉన్నాం కదా మధ్యాహ్నం చేపిస్తా ఎట్లా నేను కోర్స్ పిల్లలు అయితే చేపిస్తా కానీ ప్లీజ్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ రిక్వెస్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి బట్ ద పాయింట్ ఇస్ విల్ మేక్ యూ గ్రూప్స్ టు వర్క్ విత్ అన్నోన్ పీపుల్ వెన్ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ యువర్ కాంపిటెన్సీ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆల్సో ట్రై టు వర్క్ ఇన్ గ్రూప్స్ వన్ పర్సన్ మై వెరీ గుడ్ ఇన్ సమ్థింగ్ రైట్ యూ ట్రై టు ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ ఆల్ దట్ ఫ్రమ్ హిమ్ ఫర్ ఫ్రీ right or give some money it doesn't matter right at the end of the day if he is very good in certain thing sit down with him and try to understand the basic summary part of it the whole gist of what he got right understand what he got and try to extract all the from him working in a group aad ini samasara lo ichi nechukunnadu kada ok gantalu man nerpichin ankonde main major things you learn the 15 years work right that's how the thought process should be working in groups somebody is good in electronics sit down with him understand the core part of electronics work with him for 2 3 months 2 3 months or 2 3 days extract all that information that's what i do we get sat down with somebody i would i don't know electronics much right? i'm not from that background so i sat down with him by those who you mentioned jepok ga pn code to pn type to ki one is restore to what you jepok nahu how to make this thing happen what are the core parts of uh, iot that i can implement for a product as a patient are you feeling at all papa name you so that's how you should work towards so problem edo sante a bagaragal edo vetta way to find those kind of people right that's where the linkedin uh, profiles will come into help the connections what you are going to make with people going to different events that's where you will get to know people okay like what iic no cheppali a team untadu kada sir we want these people these mentors to guide us they are supposed to get you that okay they already have a panel of mentors on ai cis lo kuda iic cis lo kuda some colleges have very good panel also so different sectors nunchi untaru call and this karan cheppali me for sale it's your duty right nobody is going to come and phone for you entrepreneurship will not be impaired mana vai raadu mana podu adu dokko kuda konsa but you have to still get the food and eat yourself right force them to get those people to teach you okay not required force mostly what you request to get those people or at least give a connection then you go and talk to them which sector you want agriculture it depends what you are doing in agriculture any hardware product is there the physical parts are there 
It started with me, then we'll find out. But I'm not, uh, I don't know everything. I don't claim that I know everything, okay? Yeah. I'm not God. Godzilla is God. Anybody knows Godzilla? Anybody knows Godzilla? Godzilla, Monster Wars, you know, Godzilla. Anyways, that's that's a different topic, but uh, try to get those experts and try to learn from them. Okay. There are so many elements in a company, not one mentor will be enough for your bills. I'm good in technical, maybe, right? But I'm not good in business, and I know. That's where I go and get a person who's good in marketing or business side of things. I talk to them and get their info. Clear? I have an idea what it is. I can reach to that level. But I can't give a strategy how it should be people. I'm not that deep expert in it. But if you talk about anything on the development side of it, product development, I'm the one of the best mentors in TL on the product side. Whenever they want any product uh, analysis done, I go there. I work with Boeing, I work with uh, AWS programs, I work with Maruti uh, programs, and so we'll be working on some other program also. So that's apart, uh, but any sector you want specific mentors, you have to call for it. There are a few natural born entrepreneurs, but I'm not one of them. I think anybody knows even, but maybe we don't, right? Till we test it. So, uh, but all these competencies can be developed again by practice, getting awareness, and implementing daily. Okay. Next slide. Okay, uh, that's pretty much I heard from competency for the perspective. Any questions or concerns you have? Anything you want to share? Any feedback on the session? There's no such thing or awesome. Um, there's always room for improvement. I'm not God or not. But thank you for the feedback. I really appreciate it. Um, any questions? Uh, you should have some questions. Or like when I got confused. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm here for you. That's my job. Any other feedback? Support you pretty hard. I know one of the things. Learn how to have skills, different data, like communication, and that's what I love. Any other things you learned? Customer, many different sustainability development and sustainability. Yeah, two different things. Simple examples. You want examples? No, no, I, I understand. Come see. That's good. I, yeah. Okay, next slide, please. So these are my presentations, LinkedIn and Insta. Don't try and Insta. I'm going to respond. LinkedIn is there, the QR code, uh, phone number, WhatsApp, and call. You can always reach out to me. Any questions, any doubts, always doubt. But this presentation will be shared anyway. We have a Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's why the scan part is it's something to do with the projector. 
So no other questions in the field of IPM is on this kind of thing. It's complete done. And in the afternoon we'll be talking about how not often but after the session is what time of afternoon? Yeah. No, the session. Yeah. Supposed to cover these sessions actually in the morning itself. I just walk you very fast, like what this session is the morning. Okay, after there will be somebody else, I think, uh, taking care of it. Some mistake of yours, but uh, I know it's a little bit stretched to talk about this session, but let's try to put any more into it. 15 minutes will not take much time, not take much time. So, the second part of the session was about market survey. Why market survey, what it means, why it should be done, uh, all those things. Okay. Uh, as I said, the like initial stages when you are developing or trying to set your problem statement, that's when you are trying to do market survey also. You assume that there is a, you always, whenever the startup is starting or an enterprise is starting, he starts with something called assumption. If a problem on the thing, you want to go to from the business also. It's an assumption at that point of time. Initially, it's always assumptions only. Till it is proven. Okay. The proving part is market survey. That is done in multiple ways. It includes talking to the customer, it's talking to and uh, gathering information about the market. That's what I'm going to talk about. Okay. It's never that we assume, it's always assumptions. Starting point is always assumptions. They're called hypothesis actually. In startup world, they're called hypothesis because that's an assumption from it at the initial stages. Sample saying just the one market price demo, general to market If it is a physical product, if it's an app, then you send online surveys to ask people like, are you actually facing this issue or not? Once they confirm, then you start making solution. You come up with ideas to solve the problem statement. Till that time, you are not doing anything. Okay. That part where you are trying to validate or confirm the problem statement, that is called problem validation. That is a major stage. Problem validation. Then you come up with ideas. Ideas are again on paper only, not necessarily building it. Then you go for solution validation. My marketing is going to be feedback is going to be okay. If you have a solution, you can use it. Is it meets your requirements or not? That is solution validation. Then you go for the POC, prototype, prototype, and everything comes after that. Not before that. ಅಂತಾರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ they never understood when to talk to a customer at all. They put one another. We are not going to have a problem with any product addition. 90% too. The major one issue is cash. We are very good in front loading. Front loading and 
ఐడియా వచ్చింది తర్వాత తన పైసలు పెడతాడు ప్రోడక్ట్ తయారు చేస్తాడు అమెజాన్ అమెజాన్ ఉంటుంది ఆ పైసలు అన్నీ అయిపోతుంది స్టార్టింగ్ లోనే అయిపోతుంది ఐదర్ వి టేక్ లోన్స్ వి గెట్ గ్రాండ్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద మనీ వి గెట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫ్రంట్ లోన్ చేస్తారు మొత్తం పైసలు ముందే పెట్టేస్తారు పైసలు ఉన్నాయి కదా ఇక ఆగదు మెనీ స్టార్ట్అప్ సార్ ప్రాసెస్ ఎట్లా ఉంటుంది అంటే లక్ష రూపాయలు చేతి తెచ్చిన ప్రతి మూడు రోజుల్లో కథ మొత్తం పైసలు సగం చేస్తున్నారు వెరీ కామన్ చేస్తుంది దాట్స్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫ్రంట్ లోడింగ్ నెవర్ డూ దట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి స్టాక్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బి డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ అక్రాస్ ద టైమ్ లైన్ అండ్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ డోంట్ బిల్డ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ రైట్ స్ప్రెడ్ అవే అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ టాక్ టు యువర్ కస్టమర్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ది ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ దెన్ బిల్డ్ ద ప్రాడక్ట్ నాట్ బిఫోర్ దట్ Uh, there are statistics which talk about like 50% of the startups don't even reach 5 years old. 5 years old, I'm going to tell you about it. Because of this kind of issues, front loading issues. Let me say a number. For this no market need, this graph what you are seeing here, that was on the top till 2020 or cash is the problem. But till 2020, no market need was the biggest issue for startups to fail. ఆ ప్రోడక్ట్ అవసరమే లేకుండా చేసి పెట్టేది స్టార్ట్అప్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆఫ్ ద కేసెస్ ఆర్ లైక్ దాట్ అక్రాస్ ద వరల్డ్ అండ్ నాట్ ఐసో వాట్ దట్ నంబర్ వాస్ ఫార్టీ పర్సెంట్ యాక్షన్ టిల్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఆ తర్వాత ఏమైందంటే ఇది ఫండింగ్ వింటర్ వచ్చింది కదా పైసలు లేవు ఫండింగ్ ఒకటి సెలవు ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్స్ తగ్గినాయి ముందు యూనిఫామ్స్ ఊ స్టోరీలు వస్తుండే న్యూస్ లో ఇప్పుడు వస్తలేవు కదా తగ్గినాయి మనీ ఈస్ నాట్ దేర్ పీపుల్ అండర్స్టూడ్ దాట్ వి మెయిన్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ విచ్ పీపుల్ డోంట్ యువర్ నీడ్ దట్స్ వై యూ ఫెయిల్ సో దట్స్ వై మనీ Uh, money what is true market need people understood because we we the product which people need not just based on our understanding okay let's read the next one please the last point 82 percent of the business face to the cash flow problems what time when they will serve i will put my time 82 percent ready next slide this is indian startups ఈ డార్క్ కలర్ అనిపిస్తుంది యాక్చువల్ రెడ్ లో ఉన్నాయి మనం ప్రొజెక్టర్ మై నో ఇట్స్ షోయింగ్ బ్లాక్ వాట్ ద మేజర్ ఇష్యూ అగైన్ నో ప్రొడక్ట్ వి కంప్లీట్లీ ఇగ్నోర్ కస్టమర్ ఆ సినిమా మనం వినేది మాకు అన్ని తెలుసు దట్ ఇస్ అ మైండ్ సెట్ వి హావ్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టార్టప్స్ కి ఎట్లా ఉంటాయి అనే దిమాగ్ మాకు అన్ని తెలుసు ఆ సినిమా ఇస్తే కస్టమర్ మేమ్ ఇస్తే మనకి ఏం కావాలి మాకు అన్ని తెలుసు ఇట్ డజంట్ వర్క్ లైక్ దట్ వి హావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ టాక్ టు ద కస్టమర్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ హి నీడ్స్ దెన్ మేక్ ద ప్రొడక్ట్ ఆర్ సర్వీస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ దట్ మనకి దేర్ ఆర్ ద the network investment validation team co founder issues is again common issues start this or mudru i am in the mandal ego issues start with putra the return back up on start up so try to avoid those kind of issues common issues in indian start especially with student startups okay when they document just for me agreements and all was you will be here for this amount of time even if you leave this much of uh, equity will be with the cause of money or you will not work on this kind of startup for 3 years or 5 years down the line the conditions are better and they are only 90% number of them are not okay so why is that one common thing we see is non involvement of manufacturer and supplier generally mgs are made for computer we are also design this one then drawing this piece to a supplier this one our tire is so right and they make the job and there are capability only we need to design our own car because he doesn't have the capability right so what happens natham ga what capabilities he has what machines he has which can make the product of mark mere edo tar esko ni chesi mandi adin chestaru andiga machine ledu ana that's bomb for you simple product like a packaging for a biscuit is also there make up with virtual product first understand it just get the feedback from the customer then make a physical part we change that one to your mind is equal only that especially if they are coming to me with stock it right there we kill it so many startups are killed it also because they have done this for very good purpose stop doing it it is you never will be able to test with the product completely it's a physical product for example if your car is in hyderabad the tire is shit okay conditions of 45 degrees centigrade right that car has to run in himalayas which are negative temperatures can you test that in hyderabad you can you need a lot of money to do that you have to build a setup to get those temperatures you have that much of money to test it but virtual tools can test that kind of conditions on computers okay you can simulate those conditions on computers 
okay and can be done can be tested validated the machines we told you right 20 million dollars we never been prototypes we tested it on virtual models only everything done virtual only avoid making building prototypes make virtual models 3d models learn it if you don't know take help get the prototypes built like that ideas are built up built like that okay and these virtual models can be used I am a prime example for that. My first mentoring session, mentoring assignment was done for a company called Blue Power, which develops uh, mini hydro turbines, which are used in northeast areas, where they generate power uh, using these micro turbines. We never built any prototype. We did only virtual models. Social Alpha Tata Ka uh, Social Group, hai, which funds startups, has given them funds just based on virtual model only. If somebody says without what prototype will not give fund, get it to me and talk It's that easy. It is possible. The point here is with virtual models, you can get investments also. Things are changing. It is getting slow, but things are changing. People are accepting virtual models also, even for grants. If you make a video and show the product, they are giving grants based on that also. Virtual POCs are also valid. Okay. Circuits can also be done virtually. There is a software called Falstad. This is falstad.com, where you can build the circuit, analyze it, and see how the circuit is working. No need to build a complete physical product also. There are even audio board in the other. More than enough to build any circuits. Raspberry Pi and audio boards. Use those to build prototypes, not actual PCBs. Next slide. Um, again. All the stages we have been discussed. Problem statement is where you define the state statement. Then you go for ideation, validation, and all. I'll just give that to you for your review. So what what this market survey thing is, right? So you have, you have identified a problem statement you want to solve. Then what? What after that? That's where. Dividing the groups like eight groups are Correct. According to the data, so that we can understand what category model created. That's market survey. You are asking or you're saying? Yeah, that's right. Actually, that's called demographics. Persona demographics, part of the customer survey. Yes. Market survey, no, in two parts of nine. That's one is the Commercial side of it, other side the customer side of it. Customer survey and the market analysis. That's the market survey model. So we, there are two types basically. Market in the middle on the end of money one of Kamai Chuchu, market size and down the e market grow it is like in the electric vehicle on the other. Full demand on the grow it on the. There is some number called CAGR, cumulative annual growth rate, CAGR and all. And year on year, when it is in the little top of the. You need to check that. We want to invest in that uh, sector. Probably not. Right? It's going down. There's no business there. So if any sector is growing year on year, CAGR is improving. That's where we should be investing money or working in that way. So in broad terms, market service like collecting information, making sense of it, and using it for your benefit. That's what market service is all about. All the steps that are involved. Next slide. Next slide. Two types, primary and secondary. Primary is where you are talking to actual customer, do surveys, in person, or online. Secondary surveys are more like research papers. Using market reports, symposium, sister, CIA, publishers, market is not Those are secondary market research. Those are secondary. Primary is where, where you are going in person to get surveys done, introduce this and all the focus groups, you know, gathering information. That's what the primary thing is. Next slide. Uh, when you are doing primary uh, secondary, basically, one factor you should be looking at the competitive analysis. One of my all cure is on the RDM is soon, our product in the and investors have now in the fund on the in the one the employees in the all those should be part of the competitive analysis. You should understand how many people are there in the sector, what product they are selling, what solutions they are providing. That is competitive analysis. We have to do that. 
especially when you are in the initial stage itself. You have done that, right? Now you have done complete your analysis. Next slide. We, when you come to secondary, there's something called technology research also, right? So what you're working on technology side, all this research should be done to understand like how the growth is, in the world, all the part of technology research. Including the startups, uh, any government regulations that are coming in that specific sector, even on there, on an applicable entire like sustainability, right? There are a lot of regulations are coming. We should be aware of those as part of market study. So by doing that, what is the outcome, right? I'm trying to understand the market size, who are the players, what pricing they are giving, competition is giving what price, what products they got. Can I survive in this market or not? Is there any possibility for me out there or not? All those outcomes are coming from this market survey only. And also I'm trying to understand what is the industry outlook. Will it grow or is it going down? I very important fact. In the open that is a panjit. Grow it under, then we should look at it at least. Uh, one more thing that you will gain by doing market surveys, two important things: pricing and marketing. Initially, you don't have idea, right? By doing market survey, you get an idea. Meet one in the Kisunaru, one of the Kiyan. Till we do a survey, we don't know, right? Competitive analysis is there. Okay, ballpark idea of sell. Are these guys are giving at 100 rupees. I should give it about like 80 rupees or something. Then only the customer will come to me. Unless it's a premium product. That's a different case. Right? Second is, how do I do a marketing for my product? Right? To a customer will reach out and then what ways I should do it. Should I put a paper publication or paper pamphlet or like put Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever? All depends on your market survey. The customer, A type customer, is not aware of uh, where he's active at. Then you get to know the marketing strategies. Next slide. Major strategies is never delegate your survey or your customer survey to somebody else. Okay. In turn, you have to come out of the ESP code. That will not work. As a founder, you are supposed to go and talk to your customer. Don't delegate the work, it never works. Right? You don't have any data uh, to prove that he has given on her. So in that case, what happens? You don't have data to prove what is going on. So you personally have to go and do the service. In court, the recommended thing is never take a paper with you when you are doing the service. Never do that. Feedback is completely different when you are doing paper-based service. All your questions should be in your mind. Just do a casual talk with them to extract the information. Not on what to what information there. An example I'll share. I know it's getting late. Uh, we were trying to understand why the seven seater autos are together. Electric vehicle in the motor there. We put away diesel auto in the right? Mostly you see those autos on it. But why? Right? So we wanted to do a customer survey to understand why they are not buying electric vehicles. Are you that way if they are interact? First, right way, why you are not buying entry vehicle and day? You are not going to right? So, what I did personally, I have done this. I sat next to him, the auto, took a route with one route and some Dilshunagar to, I think, some Chitane or something. I went that route, sat with him next to him, started talking to him like, Anna Yendi, Indar, Baisal, Vinta, Indar, Eklayas, no, Pinnawaleda. Started casual discussion with him. Later, understood like he has three kids. He's trying to send them to school. Uh, the reason why he's not buying electric vehicle is first thing, range issue. It is taking six to eight hours to charge the vehicle. And on top of it, he can't afford to make the vehicle wait for six to eight hours. That's one. Second is uh, uh, the cost of the vehicle itself. Very expensive at this point of time. Right? They are saying electric vehicle is so good and this and that, but the cost is very high for him. It's not affordable, it's not affordable for him. So all this information came out like casual discussion only. There was no survey questions or anything now. Just casual discussion. But from story I pinned. I pinned. All we extracted and then we got the information what we wanted. So that's how casual the discussion should be. That is for problem statement validation only. Solution query number various story only. Okay. But for problem statement validation survey, 
personal personally you have to go and talk that's a strategy you have to tell there's no question there's no doubt on that if you are doing a app based solution uh, your solution is an app that's a different case you are sending google forms uh, google services and all that's a different case but if you the physical product is there then you have to go in person no no doubt on that uh many cases what happens they give especially when you are talking about solution the test or then we share okay that's a very negative feedback for a developer right if you are developing a solution if he says it in a product pena padam this right but that's a criticism in a positive way we have to take you can't go and fight with them. never fight with the customer <laughs> never do that some brilliant people have done that they did a lot of issues also never do that don't fight with your customer ever even though he's given negative feedback you have to take it as a positive criticism because you have the competency to take it right and come back with a better solution i mean uh, yeah if any uh, responses you are getting reward them also in better way right tell them that you will get a product at a lower cost or a discounted cost something like that excellent i know that next i'll come down to you. some challenges you will face is uh, the fear about talking to new people right the inhibitions doubts so we already talked about it develop the competency to talk to new people uh, mindset is another issue that we always have a fixed mindset saying that or atla yetta ni intale ekku tinan ga atla untadi kaala untadi in fact na gaachina answer is what i want to hear right so that makes me feel good if anything against that creates issue for me right so go with open mindset it's not easy but try to get that go with open mindset side uh and to find the customer that's always an issue usually you will face like who's my customer right it's a, it takes practice to identify but over the production we get it thanks man uh we have to talk about it. so the outcome of your market research is you will know who's your target customer uh what you are trying to do how to market your product to them right be specific about them next slide oh i have no questions any questions i know i just walk through it i'll share the slides uh there are links at the bottom to go detail about what it is but always i am accessible to you anything you want to discuss on these topics we'll go in detail with you okay again is an awareness only i'm not expecting you to become experts in one two hour sessions okay is only like awareness to know for you to get aware about like what is there outside how people do it then you go and learn deeper in based on which sector you are working okay everything and anything will not be applicable for you some cases you have to be very specific cases are required so in that case you have to learn what is required to you get deeper understanding of that and if you know there Thank you so much for being so great. Thank you. Now, thank you.